Today I'm going to show you the quick way to update plugins manually. This is the quick, safe, and easy way to do it. If, if you have a plugin for WordPress that you need to update manually, you're not using an auto update like provided WordPress.org, so you bought the plugin somewhere and you just need to update it manually. There is a very fast, easy, and safe way to do it. Of course, the very first thing you'll want to do is back up your entire site because you never know what can go wrong. I use Backup Buddy to automate mine. You can get Backup Buddy for 10 bucks at PluginForge.com. You'll see here that it's uh, there's been zero edits since the last backup. I'll leave a link below if you're interested in that. But today we're going to update these swatches and photos plugin. Uh, it's a WooCommerce plugin just to show you quickly what it does. You can choose things by color or you can choose things by image. It's, a, it's, a, it's probably one of my favorite plugins there, but that's another one you get at PluginForge.com for 10 bucks. I'll leave a link below. But regardless, let's, we see here that I have uh, swatches and photos needs to be updated. So what I'm going to do, very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to where my plugins are installed. And I'm going to go down and find it. And there it is. And I'm going to click on the edit button. And right at the end of the, the initial title here, I'm going to type old so I can identify it quickly. I don't want to delete this before I install a new one because I want to make sure the new one works, right? So I'm going to type old there. And we'll go back and just show you what it does when you do that. You'll see now it's titled WooCommerce Variation Swatches and Photos Old. I'm going to FTP in to wherever your WordPress theme is located. Or your WordPress site is located in this particular case it's in the store directory. I'm going to go into WP Content, Plugins, and I'm going to go find the Swatches and Photos plugin here somewhere. There it is. And I'm going to rename it too. You have to rename the folder because if you don't, when you try to install a new one, it's going to say that, fo that directory or folder already exists and it won't install. So I'm going to type the word old. And I'm going to do it. I just want to point out I'm typing the word old in front of the rest of the name and the reason why is if you're doing several plugins you're updating several of them after you get done updating them all it, uh, it's going to group them all close together because of the word old is going there it's going to group alphabetically and you're going to have them all close together so you know right where they are to delete them if you want to delete them from your FTP I usually delete them from within inside uh, WordPress itself but it automatically, when you rename that folder, it's going to automatically deactivate that plugin. Let me show you. And you'll see old has been deactivated. Now it's deactivated. We're going to just go ahead and add new. And it tells you right here it deactivated it because it does not exist. Because it doesn't see that folder. Now I'm going to go grab that plugin. I already have it on my computer. And there it is. Uh, I'm going to install. I'm going to activate the plugin. All right, it's activated. It didn't kick off any error, so it appears to have activated correctly. It says version 1.68. For some reason, it's telling me there's a new version 1.68. I don't know why. It's telling me that, but I'm going to ignore that because I know I have the correct version in there. So now that we have that in there, I'm going to go ahead and refresh and make sure it's working on the front end. Make sure my swatches is working. And it is. And I'm going to make sure my photos are working, my images are working. And it is all right so there there you have it that's the quick easy and safe way once you verify that everything works you can just obviously you can go in and delete the plugin from the back end usually the quickest way but you can also do it with FTP so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that old one and that's all there is to it that's the quick safe fast way to 
update plugins manually. Uh, if you want e Backup Buddy or the Swatches and Photo plugin, visit PluginForge.com. They're 10 bucks each or free with a membership. And I'll also leave direct links below in the description for those. Uh, visit SkeeterZ71.com for free video tutorials for web and graphic design. You have a good day.